Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I received my second order of African Violets from Violet Barn and I will be doing the unboxing for you. First time I ordered some semi-miniature and miniature violets and I even got a micro-miniature violet for a freebie so I was very excited about the plants, the quality of the plants and the quality of packaging and this time I decided to order some standard size African Violets. So when you receive a shipment and it shipped priority, which I appreciate because the plants don't spend in shipment um, process and shipping process longer than two days. Uh, and as we know, they're perishable plants and they're little, so um, shipping them fast is critical for their health. Um, so then there is a label here that says fragile, uh, fragile, perishable, avoid heat, do not chill. This just shows you the extra care that this vendor puts into packaging uh, of their African violets and there is some agricultural label here on the box. Um, so I started opening the box so let's continue. I just wanted to show you the labels and um, it's a big box because these are standard size violets. I ordered five this time. Five violets, and I will sh I will post the link to my first unboxing violet barn unboxing video in the description bo box here under this video, in case you're curious and in case you want to see the semi miniatures and the miniatures that I received. Uh, last time when I received the first shipment, there was some fiberglass um, padding to keep the the violets safe because they were so small um, but healthy so I, I got prepared I prepared some gloves in case there is some more fiberglass here so far we see this padding on the top there's some bubble wrap foil so this time there is no fiberglass and there is an invoice here and I see the plants already inside, so it's getting warmer. We probably, they no longer need the fiberglass because it's, the, the temperatures are getting warmer. All right, so um, we will start getting these babies out carefully. All right, so let's see. And they're very carefully wrapped here. And I see some some buds inside. That's very exciting. And voila. So this is a violet that might be another freebie. It's called RS Maestro and it's a Russian hybrid and it has some buds on it too. It's really nice and healthy and it is a, a freebie. Yes, it's a free violet. Thank you so much for this freebie. I'm really thrilled about receiving such a beautiful plant and welcoming it to my collection. Okay, let's get to the next one. And as I see from the invoice, none of them go out. So I received everything that I ordered this time. I so appreciate it. Okay. Now, what is this baby? I'm trying to be extra careful not to break the leaves. But they look really nice and healthy. And this one is blue dragon. I was so looking forward to receiving this beautiful plant 
very excited. I, I will show you, I found some videos online, I mean not videos but images. So the Blue Dragon um, Violet, it's kind of uh, one of the older varieties and still very very popular and it's a blue variety and it's really spectacular from what I see in the images and I saw it in person or in in live um, at uh, the African Violet show uh, in Palos Verdes uh, this March and I really fell in love in it with it it was just so pretty this you know that no screen can really capture the beauty and the depth of the color it's more lavender and purple and even with the green or white I think green edge on the frill really pretty all right then next so next um, we have let's see I want to make sure that I don't hurt them when I open them but it's really nice that the wrapping uh, is damp and so they were receiving enough humidity during shipment and they look all of them look really healthy this is bold potty girl that is another beauty nice beautiful healthy leaves beautiful rosette very very young but you could see the uh, potential in this plant it's going to grow nice and strong and uh, when it blooms it should look like this it's kind of like lavender lilac color with some frilled white edge and it's a double very full bloom and some medium green leaves and I think it has some fantasy specs yeah some like purple fantasy very pretty then the next one so we got three down, three more to go. So this one is something with variegated leaves and I believe I ordered two variegated ones, um, standards, and one variegated semi-miniature. So this one is Geyser of Color. Um, I ordered another Geyser of Color earlier from Linden Lion, and I will have to make a separate video just to show you guys the difference between that plant and this plant and I've had that plant for a month now and um, it it looks different for sure um, so stay tuned for that video I will definitely be curious to follow the progress on each of the plants that I received uh, from Linden Line and from Violet Barn Geyser of Color and it looks when it blooms it looks um, like this and it has variegated leaves and uh, it has plants with um, I mean flowers with uh, they're like star pink star with some purple fantasy or like lilac fantasy it's hard to tell I, and I don't have the proper description for this but when I make a, a separate video for geyser of color review I will definitely include the proper description from the um, American Association of African Violets or oh, American Society of, of African Violets <clears throat> alright so two more and alright so we have here another standard variegated standard and if I'm right this should be Moss Corsage which is a very popular variety 
um, and very rare to find. I was very lucky that it was available on Violet Barn. Yep, it's Moz Corsage. Very, very, very excited. And not a single leaf broken. It's really amazing. The quality of packaging is truly um, done tr truly professionally and um, <clears throat> the plants are super healthy. I'm very pleased. And then finally, the last plant is a, is, is a semi-miniature. And let's just... Uh, last time when I received my semi-miniature, I just opened them just like that. Hopefully I'm not hurting anybody inside because we don't want to do that. Yep, that is my semi-mini. Oh my goodness. Alright, so let's just unpack it carefully. So I noticed that they package semi-minis in the plain paper and standards in the newspapers. And um, I don't mind um, what kind of paper. I just, I just, you know, all I care is that the plants are right safely, that they're healthy, that the leaves are not broken because I used to, you know, I used to receive plants where like one plant had like half of the, its leaves broken and it was, you know, it was not easy bringing it back to life. So, all the plants that I received so far are very healthy. And look at this beauty. Oh my goodness. That is the variegation is pink. I have a standard with a similar color variegation. Um, it's called Raspberry Rain. But this one is a semi mini. Um, really adorable. And yes, let's show you the label. So, this one is called Rob's Inner Orbit. It's a semi miniature. And did I show you what? Well, let me show you what uh, Rob's Inner Orbit blooms like. It's pretty. Looks really big, but it's a semi miniature violet. It's just big on the picture pink and this is moss corsage I don't believe I showed you the way moss corsage blooms it's very very full, full freely light pink with green edge and variegated leaves also very pretty show plant um, so this is Rob's inner orbit and I also learned about its brother or sister Rob's outer orbit so, and it's blue so I will be on the lookout for um, um, Rob's outer orbit as well. Um, maybe I'll find it somewhere. So yes, so to keep it company. So these are these are the plants, and let's look at them again. Um, all of them together, uh, and excuse the mess. I will be cleaning them up and repotting them eventually. And let's uh, lower the camera so you can look at them all together. Let's see. All right. So here we are. The six beauties that I got today from Violet Barn. Five standards and one semi miniature. Thank you so much for watching. I will be definitely updating you on the progress of these beauties and uh, stay tuned.